a fascinating transformation is underway. It looks kind of like what you always wished you could build when making sandcastles at the beach. An intricate interconnected moat in the sand with perfect circulation to keep the water from becoming stagnant. Only this is on a grander scale. Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City is a new planned community being built in southeastern Kuwait on the coast of the Persian Gulf that's shaping up to be a colossal collaboration between man and engineering. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City in Kuwait. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City is a city in Kuwait that was built with canals forming 200 kilometers 120 miles, of artificial shoreline. The city houses up to 250,000 residents. The project was developed by the Sabah Al Ahmad Group, who wanted to build a new city on the coast of Kuwait. The idea for the project came from Kuwaiti Emir Sabah Al Ahmad Al Jabr Al Sabah's visit to Dubai and his interest in building a similar concept there. The project includes a man-made island and a bridge connecting it with the mainland. The island will contain residential areas, commercial centers, hotels, and recreational areas. Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City will comprise seven artificial islands that are connected by bridges and canals, creating a sort of archipelago. The area is unusual because it was constructed by excavating large channels in desert land rather than using reclaimed land. The construction of the city is considered a pioneering project in the region due to its environmentally sustainable construction techniques, which include minimizing the use of concrete and steel and maximizing the use of recycled materials. Sabah Al Samad Sea City is being built by excavating channels through desert land rather than using reclaimed land. The city is considered a pioneering project in the region due to its environmentally sustainable construction techniques. This approach ensures that the negative impact on marine life is minimized as there are no effects on natural habitats or ecosystems. The first phase of the project was opened to the sea in 2004. The multi-billion dollar development is within a 25-year construction period with 10 phases. Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City is the first urban area in Kuwait built entirely by the private sector. The development includes residential, retail and commercial space as well as a cultural district, beachfront promenade, and marina. The city's new waterways are home to a wide variety of man-made marine habitats, including intertidal beaches, tidal flats, mangrove and salt marshes on islands, together with subtidal sand and rock benthic habitats. These have been monitored with daily physical and annual biological surveys. The construction of artificial marine habitats for biodiversity conservation and restoration is a growing practice globally. However, the ability of these habitats to support natural colonization is unknown. In order to address this knowledge gap, we investigated the natural colonization rates and development of Gulf soft substrate intertidal and subtidal marine communities over a five-year period following their creation in Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City, Kuwait. Importantly, this data provides new information on the natural colonization rates and development of Gulf soft substrate intertidal and subtidal marine communities. Within five years of opening to the sea, all artificially created marine habitats have a species richness and abundance close to or exceeding that of similar open sea natural habitats in Kuwait. The environmental impact of the development from the standpoint of marine life has been seen as positive and sustainable. According to studies of the development, there will be no negative impact on biodiversity, even though it may cause some local extinctions. The project's environmental impact assessment was approved by the United Nations Environment Program, which said that it would not cause a significant adverse impact on biodiversity due to its implementation of mitigation measures, such as an eco-park and the preservation of coral reefs. So what is your opinion about the Sea City? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.